Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They've got all W's on the ledger so far. A perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. Here we go. 319. 
Now a first carry for their fullback. Skirts by him at the 35. And a nice spin into some open field. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. Point after here, coming up. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, it's Ted Ginn, Jr. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, the former Purdue Boilermaker. It's Drew Brees. And coming off of an early season open week, and in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. And a look now at the offense for New Orleans. And running back Mark Ingram is coming into his own as a runner in the NFL. Over 1,000 yards each the last two seasons. And now he's teaming with Alvin Kamara in a backfield where both of them can run the football effectively and both of them can catch out of the backfield as well. They'll run. This is Kamara. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Now the starters on the defensive side of the ball for the Ravens. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. I don't know what the actual percentages are. I don't know the analytics on when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches have always told me, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. All right, here we go. 19 Throwing on third down, it's Savage. And this is gonna be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. This will be fielded at the 17. And oh, he spins past him into space. Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Ravens will take over. Baltimore gets set to take the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done. But the run of that length, 
That's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, and right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here we go now. Back to throw now on first down. Buying time to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. It's their quarterback, 31 yards. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically their scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Set. Green. On second down, here's Savage. And Josh Hill has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Hurry up, here we go. Three. On first down, Savage. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Second down, Kamara, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. A tackle for loss there. Two last week. He's tough to handle coming off the edge. I mean, you talk about a defensive end, your first thought is how does he rush the passer? That's where he makes his big plays getting into the backfield. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. They got to figure this out. They got to figure him out. Four sacks last week. Now one in the first quarter. What do they do? But well, great pass rushers usually have a go-to move, but the best pass rushers, they have counters to their go-to move. So they'll show you that. Then when you adjust, they counter it and still get to the quarterback. And you don't pile up that many sacks. We did have four in the game last week without having some go-to moves with counters. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. <laughs> Spins away. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. 
That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. chased out left and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down and the big boys up front in the trenches what do you think of the o-line charles i love them because this is a group that's so cohesive they know what the man next to them is going to do at all times and they operate as a terrific unit ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten to throw now on second and ten. Dancing to his left. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. It's the fullback with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as, that is as good as you can do, I guess. So, well done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. Now the try here for the extra point. Scooped up, and this is a live football. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt, unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach, why are you yelling? Don't worry, it's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter. We'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bad move. Hurry up. Here we go. Green. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. A very good move, but for a short gain out near the 32. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. To throw on second down to Savage. Setting up the receiver screen here to Thomas. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it third down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you and you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. They'll need to convert a third and seven, though, to start things out. Savage from the shotgun snap. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connect him there and picked up a first down. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Savage. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. To throw on third down. Savage trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Thomas, the intended target. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep. He's got it at the 15. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 56 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now let's go! They'll look to throw now on first down. Rolling to his left. That's complete right around the 80. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. Extra point splits the uprights, and a route is on here in this first half. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Tom Savage ready to lead his troops back onto the field. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself, and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people. Lean on your teammates. Find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Well, this, If he doesn't, this is getting out of hand, or it could get worse. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Over the middle, that's caught by Meredith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Hey, you're on an island over there. You're on an island. Set! Green! 30. 
On first and ten, Savage. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Savage now. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Baltimore after this. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Throwing again is Savage. And that is incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, it got his man complete. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens continue to pour it on. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
This will be taken about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Gun Savage over the middle to catch by Coleman, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The first down throw coming. Savage that's out to Hill, right side complete. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Set, green, 39. To the air again, Savage. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39, green 39. Savage wants to throw yet again. On target over the middle to Hill. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Again throwing. It's Savage. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. think this has the carry it does not it's no good and this score will stay right where it is and this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal if you miss the defense takes over the spot of the placement so now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll get you down the, the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 
Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Play action. It's savage. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. Savage from the 50. And an alley to run. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Watch that in. That is right. That is right. All right, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. He lost two, and it brings up four. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more Detroit! cushion. Detroit! All right, here we go. 319! 319! Watch it now, Barney! Barney! They go play action here on first down. Forced out to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Ravens add on. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The try here for the extra point. Extra point safely through, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up the yardage. First down. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and ten. All right, here we go. Blue 
A tenth carry for Kamara. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. This time with Ingram, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Savage. Throw left side taken in by Meredith. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window goes quickly. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Now Savage leading his guys up. Following the sack, they face a third and long. From the gun, here's Savage. Gets it to Meredith, complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the left hash, this from 46. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Well, that field goal block pretty much sums up the day for them, doesn't it? Boy, it really does. What's the word we often use? Symptomatic? It's just, it's just been a sign of how this one's gone. Give a lot of credit to the guys that got in and blocked the kick. They've had the advantage all game, and they continue to press it. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Nifty footwork at the 45. And here a juke. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw now on first down. Looking left side, he's got it complete. 
And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. In for the score. And the Ravens continue to pour it on. And in this day and age, I would love to play quarterback in the NFL. Wide open offenses, acrobatic receivers. If you're accurate, you're going to have days like this. Now the extra point. Extra point up and through. And the lead will swell by one more. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. seven-yard line five yards on the catch there brings up second down one thing I think that's safe to say defensively the tackling's been really good and because of that it's been very very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch you're tackling almost on the spot that means you have to run extra plays harder to move it fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Hey, four down, four down. Now let's go. Boom, There's Savage on first down. They complete it to Hill. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. All right, here we go. Savage from the shotgun stand. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. From the gun, Savage. Coleman has it here right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Hurry up, here we go. Now contact up front as penalty marker 
Rangers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Again is Savage. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Ingram. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. Second down, here's Savage. Completes this one to Meredith. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and 10, Savage. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Second and 10, going with Savage again. He dumps it down to Ingram. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Thomas. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Now inside the red zone, Savage. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. The completion good for three and it's second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Savage wants to throw yet again. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Throwing on third down, it's Savage. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a short return to the six-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. That one looks like he'll throw here. Buying time to his left. Now he'll throw deep. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field. And I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Illegal forward pass. Offense. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Here we go now. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. 
Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, on first down, he'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Looking for White on the deep ball. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it, when you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck, you don't have defensive backs making plays on the football, hard to replicate the intensity. And this is taken in at the five. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play that time for the Ravens. 64 yards. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other Detroit! team, do they? Detroit! Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Ah! But right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And then this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that's leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. So the Ravens will keep the offense on the field as they're going to go for two. They're going to look to throw. Able to get away. And he's taken down here by the Saints. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation... Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. Savage now to throw. And he's going to go down. His time has now run out this game the storyline in this one Charles no doubt the number zero zilch nada a shutout so hard to do 